So after all of that buzzing, we're finally going to make some sound on the horn itself. When you put the mouthpiece in, there is a right way to do it and a wrong way. Um, you put the mouthpiece in the receptacle here and you give it a push and a twist. And that's, that's it. You don't want to bang on it here. Uh, that may get it stuck and it's very difficult to get out. You actually need a machine to get it out sometimes. So just a push and a twist and you should be good. Um, when you do these, um, you're going to take a full breath and you're going to hold the note out for as long as you can, for the entire breath. For the video, not to waste time and bore you, I'm, I'm not going to do them that long. I'm just going to do them short so you can get a sense of what the pitch is, so you can hear it in your ear and uh, imitate it on your own horn. Um, the two notes that we're going to do are the two most common notes that you usually see in method books for the first notes. Uh, I really hope that you're actually experimenting with the horn and messing around and trying to do uh, you know, the craziest things you can think of low notes, high notes, any valve combination, everything that you can think of. Um, don't follow any method book blindly. You know, really experiment and explore and improvise and mess around with the thing. Really get to know it. Uh, but for the example of, or for the reasons of simplicity, we're going to start with two notes, uh, the most common that are usually in beginning books, a C and a G. A C is the lower note. If you're reading music, it's the uh, first ledger line below the treble clef staff. And the higher note is a G. It's on the second line of the treble clef staff, and both of them are open, so that means no valves down. So uh, the first note is that I'm going to play for you is the G, and it sounds like this. So there's the G, and the second note that I'm going to play is the lower one, it's the C. Um, you may have an easier time with one um, as opposed to the other. Some people have an easier time playing lower notes. Some people have an easier time playing the higher notes. Uh, doesn't matter. Try to get them both. And uh, again, big breath as long as you can play them and just hold it out as steady and clear and clean as you can. So that first note was the G. Here's the C. <laughs> There you go. So, like I said, experiment with all different kinds of valve combinations. And again, hold them out for as long as you can. Clear, clean, steady tone, and uh, have fun. That's the most important thing. Good luck.